You ready for this bracket? So last week, who won the bracket last week? Dog, I got the results. Y'all, y'all about to be shocked, dog. That was crazy, dog. What was it? Was it Take Care and um, Watch the Throne? And Watch the Throne. Take Care, Take Care versus Watch the Throne. Eighty-six percent. Take Care. That I was told the y'all, boys. I told y'all. I told y'all. That's, that was unexpected, dog. That's not honest. I, I'm not shocked. No, no, the 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 eighty six. I am shocked by the uh, margin of victory. It's Drake, bro. That's all it is. Is because it's Drake. That's a high discrepancy, bro. But it's hope. Yeah, but and Kanye. Yeah, but, and you know, but you know, Kanye is getting a lot of slander right now. So. That's true. That's true. So and the first, so the first 2010 was my beautiful dark, dark twisted fantasy. 2011 was Take Care. So let's move on to 2012. So I, I think Drew put together a, a great bracket. I sent, y'all, I sent y'all the bracket again, and I, I hear no feedback. So, <laughs> so round one. Let me look at hold it. On, hold on, let's do honorable mentions to start. Let's get out. Of, let's get out of that way. So uh, let me pull up the bracket real quick. All right. So um, yeah. So this is 2012. So we got the honorable mentions. We'll get those out of the way. These you know didn't make the bracket. Unfortunately, some people had to be cut. Uh, so yeah, Schoolboy Q, Habits and Contradictions. Um, that, that was a pretty good album. I, I don't think it was better than was it Blank Face? I think that was his. Was it Blank Face? That, that, that was his Magnus Opus. Blank Face yeah. was yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sure that'll be on the upcoming bracket, but uh, it's still a good album. Uh, MMG Self Made Volume Two was on that one. That, I feel like, uh, like Self Made Volume Two came and went for some reason. Yeah. Wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! What songs were on self, which one is self made by YouTube? Who is it? Is that the one with um Dally and them? Yeah, and the album was great. And Rocky yeah. Fresh. Self made by one was better to me though. No, Rocky Fresh was on uh three. Three so self made by one did it have like with yeah, Fresh Montana. They had the song Birds and then um This Thing of Ours with a Marion. Um MIA? Was that on Self Made Volume 2? MIA. Yeah. Fuck your ride on care. That song? Yeah. Fuck your ride on care. Oh, Put change your bracket up now. Put uh, yeah. D, put S, put self made volume two in this bracket. That's a great bro. But it that won't is, get out the first round. It, with the, it might not get the out. All disrespect is crazy around here. It happens again. It yeah. Happens again. Go ahead, Drew. Happened again. Wow. I mean, I, Brandon, I'm like one of the biggest Omarion fans, so I I feel you. But fuck it, I don't care. I don't. I don't think the album by. I, I, MIA was MIA is a hit. It's a classic song in my opinion. Made back old. Since you've been away, love has been MIA. <laughs> MIA. Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all sleep. They had all, oh, these hoes be acting up and y'all niggas be like. We're talking about the album though, as a whole. I don't. That I feel like the album. Like, uh, it ain't make the bracket. It's cool. I'm gonna take it. Make it. That's um, one of my favorite albums from that year, easily. The, Me personally. Uh, so uh, Slaughterhouse, Welcome to Our House was that year. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lupe Food and Liquor 2 and then uh, Big Crit Live from Underground was that year as well but that, that was just it, 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 I was a huge Big Crit fan but that was like a disappointing um, album coming off the hills of his mixtape just wanted to give you know sh- sh- shout him out so yeah. let's get to the bracket though shout, shout out shout out Slaughterhouse alright so round house one. game house game so, round one, we have... Shut your ass up. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Get on my damn nerves. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, man. All right. So, round one, we have Good Kid, Mad City versus Pluto. Pluto. Huh? Shout out to... So, I'm not choosing Pluto, but... Shout out to, shout out to Future. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's... Pluto was a good album. I I liked it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's one of his best, but I think uh-huh. Pluto was def- Pluto was definitely a solid album. But I didn't, I didn't listen to it. I didn't listen. It's, it's good kid. It's good kid, Mad City. It's, it's it's nothing. Nothing more really needs to be said. But if y'all want to add some, you know, good kid, Mad City. Come on now. Don't don't be disrespectful. Right. Brando, you got anything to add about Pluto? Um. Yeah. My answer is Pluto. <laughs> answer to your question. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. No, you capping. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Big cap. No, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Over I'm good dead serious, man. I'm dead serious. Okay, Pluto. Man. Easy. My easy answer. I didn't think twice about this. I didn't have. Let's, let's a... get the big cap award, y'all. <laughs> no, no cap. No kizzy. No no. No kizzy. Pluto Yo. over good kid, Mad City. 
Yeah, and it's not even and that's not even one of the future's best. Let me see what's yeah. Time out, Future Future's best album is DS2. Future's best album is DS2. Yeah. It's something, yeah. It's my, I'm a future, I'm a huge future fan now. So Bruh. Good Kid Good Kid Back City is head shoulders. It's, knees, it's, a, it's above. It's arguably a top ten album of all time. Top ten it is. It is. I, I I grew up all of that. It's a hip hop classic. It's one of Kendrick's best albums. All of that. I get all of that. I'm listening to Pluto every time. Me personally. Me personally. Future? Okay. Listen- I mean, I know I know it's your personal choice, but I'm saying we know that the better album is Good Kid, Mad City. Better? Uh, that's subjective. It's still subjective, man. Huh? I know it sounds, it sounds crazy to you guys. I get it. It's still subjective. Cat, okay. It's- Cats are going to think you're doing this for, for views on the pod. I think you're being dead serious be right wrong. now. Those cats would be wrong because I've already acknowledged that I get I get that that um good kid Mad City is a hip hop cult classic. I understand that. Like that's no, it's not, no, 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 it's not a cult classic. It's I mean, not a again. Classic. I shouldn't say a cult, just a classic. Yeah, just a uh, all in all out classic. But I feel that people don't. I'm gonna say this: Future and Kendrick Lamar, and the in our culture, and in in music. Let's just say musically. I think they they have the same level of relevancy and importance. And what do you hear most when you're out, or when when you're around your friends? Let me know he's done. Ah 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 ah! What, what do you hear? Ah! I mean, what you hear? I, get, I get what you're saying. I mean, that's that's uh that that, that argument is like, really. Let me know he's done, dog. I'm going to sleep, dog. That, I, I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, that is a fact that, of course, you hear Future more because Future comes out with more music than Kendrick. So I don't, I mean, that, that but that doesn't really uh, do anything for the argument. Well, <laughs> I'm not, not right. Next, so let, next, let, me, next, let me clarify next, my next. statement. Let me clarify my statement. I get that hip hop fans, rap aficionados, are going to pick Good Kid, Mad City over Pluto. But the reason I say Pluto is that was the start to something epic. And Future Run has been epic. Think about Pluto, okay? Think about Pluto. That was same damn time up there, Magic. Like, some of his biggest hits were on Pluto. Am I wrong? Okay. Since then, that has started a whole new wave of not just him, of other artists. You know how many kids Future got? You know how many little futures there are? Out yeah, he, he don't raise them. He opened those. <laughs> what you mean? I ain't talking about real kids, man. No. <laughs> what don't you talking that. about, dog? We know that. <laughs> Come on now. We know that. <laughs> Russell, well, no, Russell Wilson's raising about, them. I'm talking about his in, people that he influenced. All people right. So he influenced. We agree, three verse one, that good kid, Mad City. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have. This, this, I think this is the toughest one of this bracket to me. This, this is from the versus battle, dog. Yeah, God forgives I don't, and based on a true story. Now, for me personally, I'm going with God forgives I don't because I was a huge 50 Cent fan, so I was like hating on Ross, and I, I just couldn't be, I couldn't find myself to even listen to Ross because him and 50 was going through that thing. And I believe that that was the album that kind of like crossed me over to actually like being respecting Ross as as an MC, as an artist. So for me, I'm going with God because I don't. Yes, I don't as well. I mean, I like the, what Dice Pineapples is on that joint. Um, I think there's another track I'm, I rock with on that joint too. So, I mean, it's a pretty solid album. Based on the true story, though, it was a good album, though. It was a really good album. That was that was a, um, that was 2 Chainz debut album, wasn't it? Album wise, yeah, like his first main. Like his, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that mixtape, boy, that that mixtape. Come on, true religion. Uh, true true religion. religion. True religion. Yeah, true nah, religion. they don't know about Drew. You already know where I'm going. You already know where I'm going, boy. That coding <laughs> cowboy. That's 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 the one. <laughs> Do your research. If you did listen to coding cowboy, I, I'm telling you, forget mixtapes. See, people think I'm crazy when I say stuff like this. Coding Cowboy is a southern hip hop classic from point A to Z. Trust me. And I, I to be honest with you, the um the fact that you guys do like 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 Big Crit and all and artists of that um you know that type of sound, you guys like that, right? Oh yeah. 
like that 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 Memphis, um, that Houston, that you know that you know that's not chopped and screwed, but you know that that organ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you I think you guys. Will, I think you. I think you guys will appreciate Cody. You two. You two. Jarvis and Jarrell. I think you two will appreciate Cody and Cowboy more than any two chains album. To be honest with you, Dang. I think you guys really need to go back and listen to Cody and Cowboy. And I think that's his best work. When did, really what, what year did this drop? This was um. This was um about two thousand what? what? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, I was going to say 10, 10, 10, I think. It had, um, it, it had, um, spend it. I'm riding around, I'm getting it. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the song that broke him, for real. And then, yeah. then set him up to when, um, the real true religion dropped, who was a big star. But 2 Chains was bubbling. I was in the 2 Chains like, before he blew up. And Coding Cowboy was actually the album that really put him on the map. And then by the time he dropped True Religion, he kind of had a little buzz already. Time you out, Drew. You, you messed up this list. Um, no, 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 no. I'm talking about True Religion and Mixtape. I'm not talking about... No, no, no. no. Drew messed up this list. In, in 2012, Chopper City dropped the Chopper City season mixtape. That's not on here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> bro, hey if you don't cut the cat, bro. Cut something. the fucking cat. Ain't nobody trying Chopper to hit City is underrated. I agree with you, Jordan. Let's go! Chopper Let's go! Underrated. Chopper City. Chopper Young City. Yeah, man. They don't, man... See, uh, look at Jarrell, man. Look at Jarrell, man. Finally, I can, it ain't, I, finally, if, listeners, yes. If now it I can rock a brand on rap, rap. If it ain't no rapidy, rapidy, rap, 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 Jarrell don't want to hear it. I'm sorry, hip, what is that? A hop, a hip, a dip, a dip, a dip, a dip, a Y'all boys are killing me right now. Y'all killing me. The bop, bop, the boogie to the rhythm, but the boogie to the beat. So, Brando and uh, Brando and Drew, who y'all got? What y'all got? I'm going based on a true story, dog. Um, same here. And, um... I, I, the only Ross album, the only Two Chains album. I mean, I'm sorry. The only Ross album that would lose to a Two Chains album, in my opinion, is this one. All right, so we got hey. So me and Drew got rock paper scissors it to come up with the winner. Ready? Mm, what are we doing? Hold on. What are we doing? Hey, sh- you gotta shoot it. It's a tie, Bruh. You gotta break the tie. We got to dog. It don't matter. <laughs> both, they're all, they're both gonna lose to good kid next round, so it don't matter. So right, let's so, just keep them. So bump bump them both up. Yeah, they they're both gonna go against good kid, and good kid gonna win. So let's. Right. It don't even matter who wins. All right. So, so next up, life is good. <laughs> life is good. Dreams and nightmares. I'm I'm a, I'm a big Nas fan. I'm telling you right now, life is good. Was that album, bro? Like no no question about it. Like not life is good is a classic to the 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 young Nas fan. Like my little cousins, like they don't even look at ill man. I'm like, yo, life is good. Like that, that was that shit. So I'm going with life is good. Uh, for me, um, I'm gonna go life is good as well. Dreams and nightmares was a very good album. That intro's hard. That Whoa. intro was by far probably classic. by classic. far one of the most classic songs in hip hop. It's, it's the top ten intro of all time. It's the best yeah. intro top of all time. Ten, right? Top ten, top yeah. two. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, it's I mean, it might not be two. That intro will get you hype for anything, though. Like, you can hear it over and over again to get you hype. But Life is Good was a very solid project. Um, I, I, you know, I'm rolling with Nas. NAS. I'm going on um, Dreams of Nightmare. Dreams of Nightmares on one. Like, like, like Drew said, um, that intro is actually a hip-hop classic song. Yeah. Uh, like, th- there's no way around that. There's no way around that. You hear, you're gonna, we're going to hear that song for the rest of our lives. It's Period. undeniable. It's undeniable. That song is, and, and no song on Life, Life is Good reached that type of impact. And not only that, he had other good songs. That was a, a, a pretty well... Bye, baby. Bye, good. baby. Bye, baby. All right, Jarvis. Come on now. <laughs> come on now, dog. Cut, cut it out, Jarvis. Cut the cap. <laughs> but y'all, you, not you, answers for me. <laughs> you, you compare one song to an album, though. No, yeah. no. I, I didn't finish. But I'm going to say something. That the fact that that's the intro to the album, it gives it a little more. It gives it a little more power. It does. It, it gives the like, yeah. That, it, it makes it a bigger factor than any other track on the album, you know. And also, he had um, let's begin to meet. What like that? That life is good was great. We was talking about Khalees and his breakup. That was a Khalees breakup album, right? No. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, that's he only had like two songs talking about the breakup. I mean, I, I, listen, I expect you to pick um, Life is Good. NAS. Yeah, I think this one is a toss-up between the type of person you are, to be honest. Yeah. With you. 
I mean, I'm not even. I'm not the I'm big, not a big Meek fan either. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big Meek or Nas fan, but Same here. Same like here. we talked about last part, Life Is Good is one of my favorite Nas albums. So I'm going with Life Is Good. That I mean, for me, like I don't know something about Meek's voice. Um, even after Drake killed him, like his voice just don't even like after the death, his voice just don't even like resonate the same for me. So the for death. me, I'm gonna go. You're old Dan right now. You're old Dan right now. What you mean? Meek Mill is still arguably one of the hottest artists in the game right now. You're old Dan. It doesn't resonate the same. Yeah, it does. But he, 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 it resonates he, 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 more. It resonates better, actually. I'm about like, to say, it, right, resonates, yeah. it resonates more because he was the only artist to come back from. Since he, yeah, since he got, when he got out of jail, when he got out of jail, that was kind of a good reboot for him, actually. And Dude, it, championships, it made people championships miss him. and wins and losses. That was a good reboot. Platinum. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, championships is a good album. This dude always bringing up uh, fucking I'm numbers. just saying, you're, act, you're acting like it. It don't hey, sound like it's his best album. I said for no, me. I think wins and losses is his best album, but that's me, though. I like them both. Yeah. I said for me, his voice doesn't just resonate. I feel like he does, he's not the same level. That's just me, okay? Uh, I mean, like, I feel like he's been quiet for him. Like, I mean, that could be he hasn't been putting out music, but I feel like he's I mean, been quiet. Ch- championships got a lot of burn. Yeah, what you mean? What year was that? That was what, 20? That was, was that 17? last year. It was 2019. No, 2018. There's no way it was last year. It was the end of 18. Yeah, it was like the, yeah, the end of 18. Yeah, yeah. it was December. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What you mean? I, I just don't feel like he. I, don't, I just don't feel like he has to stay. I'll put like I, this. I, I, Meek me. makes great wintertime music, dog. Yes. His, yeah. yeah. For sure. I mean, yeah, his, pro, his profile has risen. Uh, like Leah, yeah, like Jarvis was saying, championships not only did well success, like not like numbers wise, but like it was critically acclaimed. Like yeah. people be like people th- felt that he the rapping was good. Yeah, he had a classic song on that one too. That was free. That's a classic Jay-Z. song. And I know Jay-Z Ross stole the that. Show. that's my favorite Jay-Z Ross verse. Stole the show. But Ross and um Meek are kind of underrated on that track. But hold on, hold on. I don't know. I'm Buku. just I've never been the biggest fan. So. on that boy. That yeah. hey, that cold cold hearted part two on uh championships, bro. That's my shit, bro. And then Oodles and Noodles babies, those are like, yeah, yeah. Like that's a good album, man. That's never been album. a big fan. Not for it. me. We get it. Yeah, uh, so yeah, we go. Life is good. All right. So next up, listen. <laughs> we have Cruel Summer versus Jesus Peace. This is not even a question for me. Jesus Peace is my favorite game album. I think that's yes. the best game. Ah, album. Okay. Okay. Okay, oh, Jarvis. Okay. Yeah. Game eight on we that on album. Game hey, eight on that album. Hey, Jesus oh. Peace is tough. It's tough over Cruel Summer. Yeah. Jesus Peace is yeah. tough, bro. Jesus Peace, top to bottom, is tough. Yes. Bro. yes. People slept on that album, dog. People, no, people slept on Jesus Peace, bro. That shit is tough. I think it's, I mean, to me, it's a, it, it should be a classic to me. It's, it's in my personal favorite. Um, My answer to this question would be Jesus Peace as well. Thank you. Jesus, oh, my God. Jesus, 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 no, 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 no. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Jarvis and uh, Jarrell are very right on this one. Most, most people that real rap fans swear about Jesus Peace. Swear about Jesus Peace. It, that shit, it had no misses. Game is one of the most underrated album makers in hip hop, period. His last album was good. The, um, what, uh, what, born, the born to Rap? Born to Rap. Born to Rap. That was a yeah. great album. That yeah. was fantastic. Game is a great artist. I mean, great album. Oh, great artist. Um, Jesus Peace was great. I love um uh, the Ali Boombaye song. Oh, yeah. Woo! Eight on that joint, boy. Ada on that joint, dog. Yeah, they um they see the, the scene, game is very no, that, that see no evil joint with him and Kendrick. Eight on that joint. Yeah, yes. eight. His speeches were crazy. Yeah. Speeches was crazy. Two chains, two chains even got in his lyrical bag on y'all. y'all and then he did all, the, all that when he sampled the D'Angelo joint. Uh, yep. lady. And then they had, had a song with Wayne, that hit song. That was it. That was that was Little Wayne and Fab. They were on that track. No, it was another one. Uh, it was on that same. That same album, it was like it was a whole bunch of like Chris Brown was on the hook. Oh, celebration! Celebration! celebration yeah, bro. No, that, that I was, like uh, game did a good, and this this is kind of this it's, this is a rare talent, dog. Like I'm picking game. I'm picking Jesus Peace, honestly. Every this feature, easy, easily every for feature, me. Every feature on Jesus Peace, like the game found a way to get into that artist's bag. Like on Scared Now, he got in that Meek bag. On um the the what's that Pusha T? The name Meek King. He got yeah, to put. He does game. Yeah, game's uh, been doing that his whole career. That's what he do. 
Yeah. Dude, have you all heard? He does I've, had, like, I've, like had enough, I've heard enough. I've, I've heard enough of the bullshit. Y'all naming all these fucking mediocre songs. None of these shits are better than Click, Mercy, or Don't Like. None of the songs y'all name are better than any of those. You're a radio songs. guy, of course, Drew. Yeah, you're a radio. You love yeah, radio. It's a, what do you, it's a, no, it's about the radio. The only, it's a the lot only, to do with radio. Song, that's you're heavily you influenced name. by the radio. You love radio hit. I'm talking about a cohesive album. I don't yeah, think cool well, someone's as an album, that, Jesus Peace is easily the better album. That's an album, man. That was a piece of work. That was, it, it had the symmetry. It flowed well. It had real classic, man. You talk about Mercy and- um, Come on, Drew. Who the fuck? Like, I'm gonna tell you something though. I don't like, I do love that. I do love, I don't like. Ali Boom Ali. None of those songs Boom are better than those three. I'm just, I'm just gonna believe it at that. Two, what was that, 2000? Honestly? That's 12. That's, that's 2012. 20, Honestly, Cruel Summer might be the beginning of Kanye's fall off a little bit. Because, like, I was expecting Cruel Summer to be, like, a straight-up classic. It felt like it was rushed, and it's piece songs that are already done together. Like, this is a bunch of singles. It was a, it's a compilation. It's a compilation album. Yeah, but, it's I mean, not like... So it, made two was a compilation album, but that shit sounded great. Yeah, it was. It, I feel like Kanye. I, mean, I, love, I love. I love Cruel Summer. So I don't know. I didn't love Cruel Summer. Because usually Kanye record. locks in. They go to like Hawaii and they lock in. They make that that album. Wyoming. That's not the thing. The Pablo was great. Pablo was Pablo was nice. Pablo was. I think Pablo is actually Kanye's last good work. Yeah, Pablo was great. Yeah, I love that. Was after that. I love Life of Pablo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's his last good album. Yeah. Like, we're, we're, like undeniable. I felt like I felt like that album was great. What about what Jesus that? Peace, Drew? What about Jesus Peace? I mean, it, it, it was three verse one, so let's move right. on. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So next up, we're back at the top. We have Good Kid, Mad City versus two albums. So we get it's a two on one. <laughs> Good, Good Kid, Kid and still bodies it and still yeah. bodies. Good kid versus God forgives I don't and based on a true story. Good kid, Mad City. There's there's not much left to add there. And I expect that. I expect yeah. that. So next up we have Life is Good versus Jesus Peace. That's tough, dog. I'm I'm a Nas fan, so I'm going. I, I think the albums are dead even. But if you look, if we look at Nas's catalog, Life is Good is talked about up there. If we look at Game's catalog, I don't think Jesus Peace to the masses is looked up. In and, 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 and Gang's particular catalog? Yeah, people go with um the documentary. documentary. Yeah. And then... I disagree. All right, let me say something about, about the, the masses. I already told no, you. No, no, no. I'm talking game out. I mean, the masses, to be honest with you, the masses don't talk about Gang, for real, for real. So I feel that, like, like rap, rap fans and hip-hop fans, they... Jesus, every time I... Every time I hear like a uh, real, you know, rap person talking about music, they love, they swear about Jesus Peace, man, and I do too. Like Jesus, like you probably don't know it. Jesus Peace is held higher by people other than just us three. We're not the only ones that feel that way. Is what I'm trying to let you guys. But so is life is good life, though. Life is good is the same way. It's a well, life, life is good. The difference between Jesus Peace and life is good, maybe because it's Nas and stature, but life is good. If you look at back on 2012. Life is good was a moment. I don't think Jesus Peace was a moment in 2012. Like, it, like I know, yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree. It won't, it won't big buzz about Jesus Peace. So I mean, I, I, I have to I go agree. like yeah. personally. I'm gonna still go with Jesus Peace. I'm going yeah. with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus Peace as well. I'll go with Jesus. I'll, I'll lean to George Jesus Peace for this one. I mean, we all know Jarvis at the end of the day, Good Kid, Mad City is gonna win this bracket. So it don't even matter if not life is good as out. Yeah, I. Gotta, I I gotta see what else came out in 2007. Somebody had to drop a crazy mixtape that we ain't listen to. Something. I know it's just albums. But I so think now we're going with Good Kid, Mad City versus Jesus <laughs> Peace. Good Kid, Mad City. We'll say the, the Good Kid is a top ten rap album of all time. Good Kid is the best rap album of all time. All right, here we go. Here we. You go. can argue it. You can definitely. You can argue it. What about Ready to Die? Good, you can argue. You can argue. What about? Good kid. What about doggy style? I'm saying you can argue it. What about college dropout? No, that age like terrible. That age like yeah. Terrible. Good kid is better. Got... College dropout age terribly. Yes. Good is. kid is better than college dropout. I don't. I don't. So it's good. wait a minute. I, what I, about I, the I blueprint? I'm so, all we're saying is I'm saying you can argue it. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not. No, Jarvis said it is. It is the best. It is. To me, it is. 
I think you can you can like eliminate every rap album in history. You can start with Good Kid, Mad City. You can you can start with that album from scratch, and you can build back history of rap. So Good Kid, Mad City is better than the Blueprint. Yeah, I feel I I feel Jarvis because it it it, in, it incorporates all all the elements. Elements. What about it, get rich? What about get story, rich? It has, it has storytelling. It has cohesiveness. Cohesiveness. So, so does blueprint. So does blueprint. So does blueprint. Blueprint have every every. One it of doesn't have the cohesiveness of Good Kid, Mad City. It didn't. Who don't have who blueprint? Don't got no cohesiveness. And well, and, and not like and, Good Kid. And Brad, I'm gonna tell you the difference between Blueprint and Good Kid, Mad City. Blue, Skin, um, Good Kid, Mad City is, is a um is a concept album. Yeah, exactly. Concept album. Okay. Yeah. I get. Okay. So 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 is Good Kid City. Good Kid, Mad City, Head and Shoulders Above American Gangster, a concept album? I love American Gangster, but no, it's, it's not close to Good Kid, Mad City. And American Gangster, like, is, when I look back at college, it's like my favorite rap album that came out in my college years. Favorite. So you, I know. Let me ask you this, one more question. One more question. This is my last question about Good, good Kid, Mad City, and this is to um, harp on um, Jarrell's point. In your car, Boy, we won't drive it. Let me just say this. Do you guys put, you think, you enjoy listening to Good, good Kid, Mad City more than Get Rich Without Trying? Hell no. To, to me, yes. In my car? What? No. no, just in general. Just in general. Forget the car. Which album you enjoy more? Good, uh, get, rich, uh, get Rich Without Trying. Oh, okay. So, so Good Rich Without so Trying about is better than Good Kid, Mad City then, right? No, I, I can separate me liking an album versus me being objective and looking at an album like it's, it's a better overall album. I mean, Man, my, I, get that, I, I get that. I mean, Harlem, Mace's album by Harlem World. Harlem World's my favorite album of all time, maybe, other than Ready to Die and like Puff Daddy and Family. But I'm not going to sit there and say that overall it's better than Good Kid, Mad City. Okay, I can understand that, but the the Get Rich or Die Trying album is considered that too. They're in the same category. A lot, a lot of people don't think it aged well. A lot of people I talk to. I'm talking about this that age is well shit, man. That's I, I, think, that. I think stuff not aging well gets thrown around too loosely. I think it's starting to get thrown around too loosely now. Like, get rich without trying to age well. That's it. I don't believe that. But a lot of people, a lot online, I see a lot of people saying that. Well, a lot of people are wrong. Okay. A lot of people, lot of people, people said that um, Ready to Die didn't age well. They talk about that on the, um, on the Joe Button podcast. I mean, whatever. Whatever. Hey, wait, Ready to Die didn't age well? They said that on Joe Budden. They say that. Nah, they say it all the time. I think they're about another album. You sure it's Ready to Die? All right, we'll move on from that. But all right. Hey, y'all disrespecting Get Richard Die Trying, by the way. That is a hip hop classic. Um, it's a classic it, it overall. Is. Of course, it's a classic. I think, I th this is what I think the problem is. I think that sometimes we give, like, when somebody's like a little more creative, you know, with the concepts and, you know, and things like that, we, we, we tend to give them the edge. Soft That's and soft. Because, um, what's that Lupe album? What's that Lupe? This his second joint, not Food and Liquor. Oh, the, I love that album. The, um, the, the, I know it's like we were talking about. The, the cool. cool. The Cool, that, yeah. It had that, him a song with Jill Scott cool on album, it. What's but, that song with Jill Scott on it? I love that. It, dog, that, that album came with, there's a manual to the album as a, being a concept. And I mean, people don't think that's like it went over everybody's head. But people, but that's the thing. Like, that's 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 the genius of Kendrick to do it and it to be cohesive and it not go over people's head like that. Like, Good Kid, Mad City is like is like Menace Society, Boys in the Hood. It's like a visual album. But like we picture it. thing. It's on that level. Like, it's a it's a movie and an album. You can't beat that to me. You can't. Yeah. It's like popping in a classic West Coast album. No, I'm not even. I only been to LA once, but every time I put on that damn good kid Mad City, I'm taking a trip to LA. I'm taking a trip to Compton, dog. I feel like I'm in Compton. I think this is a disconnect. I, I'm like, uh, the more I talk to you guys, the more I kind of see the disconnect. Not a disconnect, but the difference of um, the way we intake the music that we listen to, listen to. I think you got. I think um, a lot of times you guys listen to music for not for, not looking for, but you guys just appreciate the the theme and artistic and the, uh, um, you know, the creativity behind things, which I do too, do not get me wrong. This very, as an artist myself, trust me, I, I do understand that. But I just don't see, I don't think you enjoy song for song. I'm, call, I'm, call, I'm basically I'm calling you a liar. I don't, <laughs> think you enjoy, I don't think you enjoy song for song, the songs on Good Kid, Good Kid, Mad City, 
Then you do those on Get Rich Without Trying. There's no way your ears. I told you that though. I already said that. You said what? I said I, if I'm, I rather listen to Get Rich or Die Trying. But I'm just saying overall, I think Good Kid, Mad Season. No, 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 no! Don't do that. No, then you pick. Then pick Get Rich or Die Trying. Don't no. do that. Pick the one you like the most. Don't pick the one you think the people like the most. I'm pick objective. the one you like. I'm objective. I don't, Jarvis both goes to Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. If too. you say you like it more, this is where your vote go. Don't do it. I'm objective, what you think dude. People gonna do. I, yeah, I could, I could objectively look at the album. Okay, that's that's better. I get it. Like I'm, I, I'm, so I'm, I get that. No, I'm. I like life is good. I think life is good. I, I listen to that more. I listen to get Good Kid, Mad City, but I recognize that Good Kid, Mad City is a better album. Yeah. I'm just, so I'm are objective. we supposed to? I'm a, so I'm, a Portland, hey, I'm a Portland Trailblazers fan. But I don't say every year. Oh yeah, we're going to the championship. Yeah, we're going. To, I don't know. Okay, cut the fucking. Yeah, this, this too, we can, yes. So let me ask you a question to clarify. So I I can see us doing this more um down in the future, like with other years and other categories. So let me clarify something now, so I can know how to answer these questions going forward. So if we're doing a bracket, are we answering it based on? What we think the masses would pick as the best yeah. answer, or what well, you no, I'm thinking about what I think is the better yeah. overall album. What you think is the better album? Overall, I, I think. No, is I, it, all right. Let me rephrase my question again. I think Jarvis and Drew are doing it by the masses. I agree with you, Brando. All right, and I'm how supposed to do it by what you like? How are we doing it by the masses when we have Flockavelli in the championship on 2010? What are you talking about? <laughs> Because Belly was a really good album. It was, oh, it was, the it was, masses, it was like, the masses, the masses did not think that, Drew. Yeah, they do. No, they did the not. Do respect y'all y'all the Trap Boys did. Don't do that. Don't do that. The, tra- the Trappers are like the, the, yes. the overall. Yo, y'all gonna do a hug, man. This is time out, man. That's that's you're, you're, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm you're painting me, you're painting me as like the backpack guy. And backpackers, when Flockavelli dropped, were saying that Waka was killing hip hop, was killing the genre. Do y'all remember that? Yeah. Yes. So the masses didn't like Flockavelli. What are you talking about? But the, yeah, mass, the masses aren't backpack people. Exactly. Not the Thank you. Masses. You're talking about Flockavelli is a regional classic. It's a southern no. classic. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, let me say something. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Drew, Drew, you can say that about you can say that about um AT Aliens. That's a southern classic, but people still recognize it in the community as a, a classic. Are you, are, classic what the fuck are you saying? That's are because it's like, great. That's because it's great rapping. Yeah, dude. What it's are you still, talking about? I don't, right, still, let me, let me, it's let still me. known as a Southern classic. So what the fuck are you talking about? All right, I'm going to say this. Flockavelli, Flockavelli is not a Southern classic. I'm not saying all of that. But it is. I believe it, it is. It's a trap classic. It's a trap classic. It is. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's a classic album. What I think about Flockavelli is it just produced a lot of big hits that we that were in the prime of our lives personally, us four. That was our college years, no hands. Um, you know, hard in the paint. Grove yeah, Street. The, the mass is all the if you. If Grove you, Street. Drew, 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 know what time it the is. Ma- the mass is the, the point. The point is, is that we are not going off the masses because we wouldn't have Flockavelli in the fucking championship. No, I think I think y'all are going off the masses. And Brando's point to as to y'all are putting Good Kid, Mad City on a pedestal, even though it is a really good album. It's a classic. Listen, listen, what hear me out. About? Hear me out. Because Good Kid Mad City is in my top five. Just hear me out. Exactly. So what are you saying? Hear the man out. I'm done hear me out. out. I think the reason why y'all are saying this is because y'all don't want anybody to kill y'all in the comments section. I don't care about that. Yes, no, you I don't do. Think what have I ever cared about that? I'm going to tell you what they're doing. I'm going to tell you what they're doing. It's basically, it's, they're basically doing. Dog, I said Chopper C dropped the classic album in 2012. You be honest, give it up. You were definitely playing around. You know, Jarrell, you wrote Jarrell. Stop that. Listen, Don't you do that. Listen, listen you're my dog. Listen, you're my dog. But you know damn well Chopper C ain't never dropped no goddamn classic. Cut the cut the fucking cap, Jarvis. It's a classic in your book, Jarvis. This is what Thank all that you. means. Listen. Jarrell, 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 you basically were in a car with me every day from 2010 to 2012, rolling around with me and, and vice versa. Who was I listening to in the car? You were. I said you were. I gave you your flowers. What are you talking said, about? But you don't really fucking believe that. If I listen to it every day, I think it's a classic. But you didn't listen to it every that. day. You All listen right, so, to so, it so, you just wanted right to get hyped. That's my point to you. What you just said right there is my point to you. So when we're playing this, when we're doing these brackets from now on, I want you guys to pick the album that you listen to most. I want that to be the basis that, of our But that's, that's not the bracket we're doing, though. We're trying to, we're trying to get what, is, what was the best album of the decade. Overall. I mean, what was the best album of the year? All right. I, I want us, all right, I get that. I want us to change the way we do that. I want to hear what you guys 
enjoy the most. That's what I personally want to hear. Uh, we know that if that's the case, it's obvious. Of course, it's going because, to be wrong. Because in my, in my opinion, it's going to be I'm Good gonna, Kid, Mad City. Of course, most I mean, if, if, even that. if we did it that way, wouldn't Good Kid, Mad City win this bracket regardless? No, nah, because you, us three pick givers of Dotron. It's, it's, it's not in the bracket. It's not in the bracket. That was 2004. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not in a bracket. But I, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> But what I will say, what I will say oh, no, is three. That, oh, wait. <laughs> what I will say is that if we're doing it that way, if we're picking like our favorite albums, I would expect Drew to select a Drake album that is better that that he seems better than Good Kid, Mad City. Like I would expect you to pick Nothing Was the Same, or if you're reading this too late, over Good Kid, Mad City. I would expect oh, that from you. I would, to be honest, the only Drake album I will put above it is Nothing Was the Same. Not, to not even take care. Nah. I'll put you, put, so you, put, you got nothing care. was the same over take care. Yeah, I do too. I, 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 do. I, do. I mean, I no, do. I don't think that's crazy. No, I think those are his like. I, I believe that Drake's best. Album, so. I believe Drake's best album is if you're reading this is too late. But I believe that's my top three. My top three. I think we said this last week. Take care. Not no in no order. Take care. Nothing was the same if you're reading this for me personally. No order. Those are my top three, Drake. Oh.